10 overpowered anime abilities that would be useless in real life. All for One's quirk would be useless because it depends on the existence of other quirks. Bites the Dust from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure would be useless because realistically it would only work if the user was a serial killer. Emperor of Time from Hunter x Hunter would be useless because it only works on the Phantom Troop. Escanor's Sunshine from Seven Deadly Sins would be useless because you would start melting everything in the vicinity as it got closer to noon. The Byakugan from Naruto is useless because most people aren't getting into fights very often, and even if they are, cutting off people's chakra isn't useful when ninjutsu doesn't exist. Ritsu's Ignition ability from Fire Force would be useless because Infernals don't actually exist. The Gum Gum power from One Piece would be useless unless, again, you are getting into fights often, which most people aren't. Death 13 from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is useless unless, again, you are a serial killer. The Colossal Titan from Attack on Titan is useless unless you're trying to obliterate all immediate civilization nearby. One for All from My Hero Academia is useless because it relies on the existence of previous quirk users. 10 terrible anime characters who overstayed their welcome. Ren Yamai never stopped being creepy towards Komi in Komi Can't Communicate. Marika Tachibana's personality was bland and repetitive in Nisekoi. Keigo Asano contributed nothing to the story except for being cheap comic relief in Bleach. Orochimaru just wouldn't stay dead even though he wasn't a relevant villain anymore in Naruto. Mary kept making cameos even though she wasn't a real threat anymore in Trapped in a Dating Sim. It made no sense why the main character liked Hiro Sagawa so much when she was snide, manipulative, and self-centered in A Couple of Kakus. Even though he was the main character, Yuji had no personality, no worthwhile goals, and not even a meaningful friendship in My Isekai Life. Lilia Rainworth was too repetitive in her goal to manipulate all of the game characters in I'm the Villainess so I'm taming the final boss. Mineta is extremely annoying with how perverted he is in My Hero Academia. Clayman is a generic and boring villain that just sends his minions to fight the main character in That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. Hen Least Loyal Anime Henchman FF betrays her creator Poochie in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Ramot defies his queen's orders in Hunter x Hunter. Shigaraki betrays his partner Overhaul and refuses his master all for one in My Hero Academia. Suzaku betrays his country, his king, and all of his friends in Code Geass. Hanyabal tries to exploit his master and superior warden in One Piece. Kenny tries to exploit and then betrays his king in Attack on Titan. Zuko betrays his country, his father, and his sister in Avatar The Last Airbender. Minister Anis kills his king, queen, and exploits their child son who is emperor in Akame Ga Kill. Zetsu betrays and kills his quote-unquote master Madara in Naruto. Gin pretends to be loyal for over a hundred years before attempting on his master Aizen's life in Bleach. Ten Naruto characters that only exist in filler episodes. Gurin, a cruel Kanoichi with a unique Keke Genkai allowing crystal release. Sora, a partial Jinchuriki who has Ninetales Chakra sealed inside of him. Hanare, a possible love interest for Kakashi with self-memory wiping abilities. Shira, who is basically the Sand Village's version of Rock Lee and can use the Eight Gates. Yuki Maru, an Orochimaru test subject that is used to control the Three Tails. Hotaru, a Kinoichi who is trained by the Six Tails Jinchuriki. Natsuhi, a Jonin from the village hidden among the stars in the Land of Bears. Sasame, a Kinoichi who helped take down her own father who was discovered to be devoted to Orochimaru. Yakumo Kurama, a gifted genjutsu specialist who once trained under Kurenai but wants to seek revenge after Kurenai sealed away Yakumo's genjutsu and ninjutsu. Mina, a little girl with psychic power so strong that not only can she see the future, but also calm down tailed beasts. 10 Most Iconic Blonde Anime Characters Armin Arler from Attack on Titan Mari and Kitagawa from My Dress Up Darling Dio Brando from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Tamaki Suo from Oran High School Host Club Saber from Fate Stay Night All Might from My Hero Academia Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Super Saiyan Goku from Dragon Ball Z Naruto Uzumaki from Naruto 5 Ways Jujutsu Kaisen Copied Naruto Both have legendary white-haired mentors that cover their overpowered eyes. Both have the same exact team composition. Both main characters have ancient overpowered entities sealed inside of them. Both have similar powers in the form of ninjutsu and jujutsu. Both have similar summoning techniques in the form of the summoning jutsu and jujutsu kaisen's familiar shikigamis. 7. Creepiest Anime Characters Vanderdecken from One Piece was so obsessed with Shirohoshi that he wants to kidnap her and had been stalking her since she was a little kid. Palm from Hunter x Hunter wants to go on a date with Gon who is only 12 years old. King Fritz from Attack on Titan had people hunt Ymir, then made her give him children, then had her children eat her after she died. 
Chocolata from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure likes to kidnap, torture, and then butcher and mutilate innocent people while having one of his former victims videotape it. Sanji from One Piece not only lusted for Nami even though she had been aged down, but he also lusted for Boa Hancock Seraphim who is a child. Haomei from Fire Force likes to use her power to turn people into living dolls and they have to do whatever she says and they are helpless to fight back. Kabuto from Naruto was so obsessed with Orochimaru that when Orochimaru died, Kabuto took his blood and genes and put it into himself in order to be more like him. The six most sinister and manipulative Naruto characters. Zetsu manipulated Shinobi for hundreds of years and is the sole reason for generations of Shinobi conflict and even the entire Fourth War. Danzo manipulated Konoha from the shadows, attempted to assassinate Hiruzen, didn't help during the pain invasion, and killed Shisui which forced the Uchiha massacre to happen, all so he could steal a bunch of Sharingan. Orochimaru manipulated Sasuke along with a bunch of other people's lust for power just so he could experiment on them and or steal their body. Itachi manipulated Sasuke in the hopes of making him powerful enough to protect the Leaf Village and pretended to be part of the Akatsuki so he could keep an eye on them. Sasuke manipulated Orochimaru for power, sacrificed Karin to hit Danzo, and then betrayed Team 7 right after the war ended. Obito deceived everyone by acting like a fool with his Tobi persona, and then before and after that, he deceived everyone by pretending he was Madara Uchiha. Ranking every Akatsuki member from weakest to strongest. Number 12, Juzo Biwa. Number 11, Zetsu. Number 10, Hidan. Number 9, Sasori. Number 8, Deidara. Number 7, Konan. Number 6, Kakuzu. Number 5, Orochimaru. Number 4, Kisame. Number 3, Itachi. Number 2, Pain. And number 1, Obito. 10 anime characters who like to work out. Rock Lee from Naruto. Saitama from One Punch Man. Makoto Katai from Komi Can't Communicate. Akane Tendo from Ranma One Half. Alex Luis Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Tomo Aizawa from Tomo-chan is a girl. Akitaru Obi from Fire Force. Aoi Toro from Jujutsu Kaisen. Kyosoma from Fruits Basket. Naruto's 10 most controversial choices. On their first day as Genin, he attacks Sasuke unprovoked, transforms into him, and tries to trick Sakura into kissing him. Naruto having an unwarranted need to save Sasuke even though he attacked the Cloud Village twice via the Raikage and Killer Bee. Naruto letting his anger get the better of him when chasing Deidara put everyone in danger. Naruto shouldn't have participated in the war because it puts everyone at risk if he got captured and leaded to the Tentails being summoned. Naruto using Talk no Jutsu on Obito put him at risk of being captured or killed. Naruto asking the Raikage for forgiveness for Sasuke was extremely childish and selfish. Adult Naruto neglects his family a lot in Boruto. Some fans think that Naruto shouldn't have married Hinata since they never really interacted much throughout the series. Naruto's choice to use harem jutsu on Kaguya was stupid because if it failed, he would have died along with everyone else. Naruto lies to Konohamaru and doesn't tell him who Mitsuki's father is because he probably has a grudge against Orochimaru and wouldn't want to train his son. According to CBR, these are 10 anime characters who live alone. Makima from Chainsaw Man. Orihime Inoi from Bleach. Lucy Hartfilia from Fairy Tail. Naruto Uzumaki from Naruto. Azusa Aizawa from I've Been Killing Slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level. Toru Honda from Fruits Basket. Narumi Mamose from Wotakoi. Saitama from One Punch Man. Riza Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Nazuna Nanakusa from Call of the Night. 10 anime characters with the most merch. Gojo Satoru from Jujutsu Kaisen. Tanjiro Kamado from Demon Slayer. Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Totoro from My Neighbor Totoro. Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon. Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan. Naruto Uzumaki from Naruto. Pikachu from Pokemon. Goku from Dragon Ball. 10 shonen anime characters who belong in seinen anime instead. Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Donovan Desmond from Spy Family. Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan. Kento Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen. Stain from My Hero Academia. Soichiro Yagami from Death Note. Shu Ogata from Engage Kiss. Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Hidan from Naruto. Aki Hayakawa from Chainsaw Man.